my beautiful people it is sherry molten back with another video hope you are having an amazing day hope you enjoyed um monday's video with the uv resin mylar sharpie necklace pendants i think they turned out awesome i'm wanting to really try to make some of those in coasters because i think that would be very very cool with normal resin so with that Today, I am so excited. I have had this mold for, I'm gonna say almost three weeks and I haven't showed you. I have been so excited to try it. I'm just gonna bring up what I did. It's a little more money than what I normally would spend on Amazon for a mold. It is a lamp. This is what we are gonna make today. It is awesome, I paid 36 bucks Canadian but you know what it's pretty sweet like these are the pictures that came with it so I am going to bring you down show you the show you the mold and what my brain's gonna think and then I'll go mix my resin up so I'm gonna bring you down guys this is gonna be a fun one I am so excited like look how tall this is so this is the part for the um the arm the handle whichever you want to call it this is the bottom so this would slip because this is skinny so this would slip into here and then this is the shade and the shade would go like that awesome i think it's cool um i was trying to i saw some dust in here so i i put some tape the wrong way around a skewer and I was sticking it in to pick up all the little dusties. So that's a neat way to do things, guys, if you have a something that's quite long like that. It comes with these. Um, I had a coworker help me find these, so I've, I'll link extras of these. These are called beer bottom um, lights. I never heard of them before. So it's a 3, 3M sticky, and it has the lights, so when you it goes on this part so you put it in like that once it's cured and it goes flash it goes a little bit less of a strobe and then it goes solid pretty sweet there was two one says one was white and one was um a warm so let me see what the if this is the warm one because that to me that one looks bright white gotta pull a little tab and let's see oh that one's bright and that one's warm pretty cool very cool okay so we'll set these aside. I'm gonna put them back in this little bag and we're gonna embellish this because, you know, Sherry can't do something that's just plain old, plain old. So I'm gonna show you what I also purchased. And again, all of this will be linked in the description box, guys. So my brain, this is the shade. I purchased these. I bought one thinking one was shorter than the other, and I really don't think one is. And actually, you know what, guys? This was so freaking cheap. I could not believe how cheap this was. It's actual rhinestones. It's meant to put on clothes, like you could sew it on clothing. But look at this. I don't know if you can see it the way the, here, let me just bring this down here. But is this not uh, adorable? I think I paid, it was $12.99 for this. Now I bought two. I thought one was smaller than the other. And they look to be the exact same. And they are. That is very saddening. But that's all right. You can never have enough of these. Oh my goodness, I couldn't believe when I seen these. Here, I'm just gonna set them aside. But my brain was thinking, once this is this lampshade is cured, 
I am going to probably do it with UV resin. And we will put this on here like this. And it will dangle off the shade. So that's what is going to happen. I'm hoping. That's what my little brain is telling me I want to do. Okay, so with that, I'm going to mix up my resin. I did have my table all leveled out here. I just want to make sure. I just have to remember there, there's a lip here. <laughs> I don't want everything to go off. Big, big thing. If you're making something that takes a lot of resin, guys, I cannot boast enough. You should be making sure that everything is um, level. So today we're going to go basic. Now, I'm going to make another one of these 100%. And in my head, I got some other ideas. I'm not going to give them up now, but I will make another video with something different. Today, I'm going to do basically clear resin. I may put a hint of white in it and some, of course, some silver holographic glitter if I can. So with that, I'm going to mix my resin. And today's resin is always crystal resin. This is the deep casting resin. And it is a two to one resin. It is two parts A, one part B. And I'm gonna mix that up. And I will be back in a couple of minutes with my resin mixed up. And as always guys, can't stress enough, use your respirators, use your gloves, protect yourself, use your PPE, read your um, health and safety regulations. And I just wanna say this one here, it's a deep casting epoxy resin. It is made for river tables, DIY, jewelry, art projects. It can go up to two inch thicks at a time. I'm gonna go past that. I'm just gonna pour the whole thing. We'll see how it turns out. It is self-leveling. It is anti-UV. It is low VOCs. It is low order. It is excellent heat, scratch resistant, and UV protected. It is a high gloss, water, dirt, and solvent resistant. And it is non-toxic, FDA approved. And it is more or less bubble free. So we're gonna try it all out, my friends. I'll see you once I'm all mixed up and I'm choosing not to wear my mask when I come back. So that's my decision. So I'll see you in a sec, guys. Okay, guys, I am back. My resin is all mixed up. Now, I um, chose to do 18 ounces. Um, so I used two parts of the one, um, which is two parts of the resin, which is the A, which would have been 12 ounces. And then I used one part of the B, which is the hardener. And that would have been six ounces. So altogether that's 18. So I am choosing I want to put a little bit of color in it, but I don't want it to be too opaque because you want to be able to see the light through. So from the Miss Laura from Laura's Art Corner, this is Magnolia Shimmer. Look at that. I don't know if it's going to be white or if it's going to be clear. So we're going to put some of this in first. Uh, move that in the center. I'm going to do one scoop actually we're going to do half of that and see what it does if it does color or if it's just glitter oh it's kind of like a pearl oh <gasps> i think this is the color Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. It's glitter, but it's kind of per. Oh. I'm just wondering. Because it's sherry, I will finish that one full scoop. And there, remember, there's 20, there's 18 ounces in here. Now it went clumpy as I'm stirring, so it does. It does. Um, dissolve don't get worried when you see the clumpies if that's the case i think it's because it's fine it's got glitter in it oh my goodness perfect 
I always have the good stuff from Miss Laura. I'm just going to keep stirring for a couple seconds here. Now, I was bad and did not measure my um, molds. I'm like, look at that. I don't know if you can see that. That is so freaking beautiful. Any hoodles? Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to remove this. I'm not putting this in there because I, I think because it's got the glitter in there, I think it would be too much. So I'm going to back away for a minute. I know Sherry's backing away from the, the glitters. Okay. Again, like I said, this has been leveled out. So we're going to put that. We're going to put the big guy in the middle. I see something on there. I don't know what that is. Almost looks like a piece of tape or something. Let me get, oh, let me get my little stick here. That isn't taking it off. Oh, there it is, it's gone. And our big kahuna, the big boy. All right, so what I'm gonna do, oh, there's something else in there. Oh my goodness gracious. I see something right here. I don't know if you can see it. That's why I did the stick. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's gone. All right. And what I'm going to do, because of the, I don't want bubbles. So I'm going to spray with my alcohol. Just A little spray just so it once when you put um I want no little misses in the bottoms of these all right here we go I'm so excited and I just can't hide it I'm gonna give it another stir I'm gonna put that here and let's go with the lamp shade Oh my my, that lampshade, so 18 minus 9, it took almost 10 ounces for this, wowzer dowzer, let's get this guy. Oh my, I'm going to have to mix more. Okay, guys, I'm going to have to mix up some more. What is with that? Okay, I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to mix up, I'm going to say three more ounces and that way it'll be easier for me to measure out because you know I'm special can't count sometimes ha 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 okay so I'll be right back guys okay I've mixed up three more ounces here I'm gonna add about that much of a scoop and it doesn't really matter because that's going to be the back side if that makes sense And that's the Magnolia Shimmer again. 
And remember, stir it really good because you want it to dissolve in the resin. Alright, I just want to make sure it's really incorporated, guys. Alright, there we go. Let's pour it in here. So it takes 21 ounces, guys. Oops. And I am going to stir this just because we had two different quantities in there and I would just want to make sure that nothing is seen. Even if it's just marbled, I really don't care, but I want to make sure it's evenly dispersed. All right. Oh. Oh, there's the, oh, I'm so, look at that shake. Okay, I'm going to give it one spritz. There's all kinds of bubbles coming up on this guy. doesn't want to there we go and we're done so I'm gonna let this sit I'm gonna clean out my cups and I don't know how to cover this because this is huge um, my big tent I'm gonna see if I can prop it up so that I can at least get something on it because I don't want to leave it just out to the air so with that, I hopefully will see you soon. I'm excited. I'm excited to put the crystals on too. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit, guys. Oh, that is in the frame. I was just, when I looked in my monitor, it looked like you couldn't see the top. All right, I'll see you in a bit, guys. Hello, it's me again. Oh my goodness gracious. I started this project on Monday. Today is Wednesday and it's still not cured. I am just, I am the worst. Um, nothing against anything. I'm an instant gratification kind of girl and this is killing me that I have to wait this long. <laughs> it's gonna be beautiful, but I'm just not so used to waiting this long. So anyways, I came down to check yesterday and I noticed that it has lifted, it settled. When I poured it, it was more or less full. So I have mixed up a little bit more resin and I am just using the, you might hear me call it the original. Um, this is the two part crystal resin epoxy that I've always used. So a lot of people use it for top coats. I always used it for my coasters, anything, cause I love the idea cause it was uh, a quicker curing time. So with that, I've mixed up brain sorry my brain totally farted um i mixed up six ounces if i have a little bit more i am going to um put it inside my cute little kitties that i have i'm going to put it in here and i'm going to show you at the end of this what we can do with those if if i need be use them so i'm going to put more of my magnolia shimmer from miss laura the amazing Laura, Laura's Art Corner. I'm going to put one big heaping spoonful. I know it's only six ounces, but on this part, oh, and I'm putting it in the containers. I hate putting stuff in because it's hard to clean. Any hoodles, I know you don't care about that. Um, I wanted this part to be a little bit darker because with, Where'd I put it? Where'd I put it? With the pod that I'm going to use, it sits on here. 
and there is an on and off little thing. I don't want you to be able to see that. So I don't want this to be so transparent on the top, which is fine. So I'm going to put a little bit more, and if I don't kind of like the color, I've also picked out some of my mica powder. This one is from Let's Resin, and it's white. So we're going to see. I think it'll give a little bit more to the base. And this, guys, this one, I don't know what it is, if it's the, t if it is the texture of it. But please, please make sure you stir it in very, very good. Because I found um, I was, when I emptied my cup to clean it, there was a little bit powder on the bottom. So just make sure that you completely, completely I was almost tempted to put crystals on the whole top of this to go with the crystals on the bottom that I'm going to put. Now, it is, mm, I'm going to add just a bit. Probably going to regret it. I'm going to add minimal. Just a little. <laughs> that isn't going to work, is it? That was my evil laugh. My amazing friend from Australia sent me these. I'm going to use one of these. Just a little. And the kit did come with little scoopers, so. I just put one little scoop and let's see where it goes from there. I think I'm happy with that. It's. You can still see the stick through, but you know what? I think I'm good. I don't want to go overboard with the actual white because I don't want to lose that. I don't want it to be totally opaque, but I don't want it to be totally transparent either. I don't know if that makes any sense what I'm saying. So we're going to go this guy first because I want to make sure he is covered. See how much that took? That is ridiculous. That took two ounces. I'm gonna fill this guy a little more. And you know what I'm thinking with this guys? Oh, I don't even wanna tell you cause I just wanna do it and surprise you because I think it'd be cool. And then this has got a little bit of a divot in it as well. I'm just gonna try and push it to the edge. You can really see the difference of the color. This is very, op like I can't see those little ridges there. Now let's do this guy. There we go. I don't want to go overly with this one because I pulled it open and I do not want it to leak in under the mold because I did, you know, I ah, told you before, I'm impatient. I just, but I want to make sure it gets to the edge. And this one is a weird one, guys. It is so tall and I am I want it to move because it's stuck on my table. I can't do any video. So I've been wanting to do another video and I can't do it because I can't move. <laughs> I didn't want to move it and it only became solid when I came down today. So there's no use. We'll finish it up tomorrow. So now with these guys, I might add a little more pigment and I'm going to put it in this, this little thing. I think he's going to be cute. We'll make them all pearly and I think I'm going to have to get something else because There, we did two scoops in there of the mica powder. We want all that shimmery glitter, but we also want, I, I don't want it to be transparent. All right, let's get these guys in there.
These are the cutest little things. Oh my goodness. You can tell I'm concentrating. I am quiet. Let me just wipe this off here. I'm going to move these out because they kind of, you have to watch this little mold because if you have them setting, they'll go all like wonky. So you have to pull it apart and set it down so it's straight. Now I'm going to grab, I have another one and I'm going to grab the other one. There we go. It's right here. And with this one, oh my goodness, I have confetti. How in the heck does confetti get in there? There we go. And there we go. We'll get the rest of these in there. And I'll kind of show you. I think these would be cute as little keychains. And these guys dimpled in a little bit, so I'm gonna Wow, I may have to do something else. Well, okay, I have a little bit left in here. I'm going to find something else that I can fill. Uh, I don't know, maybe, oh, I put, oh, I put more white in there. I was just thinking I could put a little bit more in here. No, it's going to be different. I'm going to leave it. So what I'm going to do is give it all a good spray with my 99% alcohol because... After paying $35 for this kit, I am not going to destroy it my first time using it. Because I've done that before, using a kitchen torch, which I wouldn't use on this one. All right, guys, I'm going to let this cure, and hopefully we will be at this tomorrow, and you will see this in a couple days. All right, I'll see you in a bit, guys. Hello. I'm going to demold. I'm going to move all the stuff that I had extras and get out of that out of the way. And this guy's still a little, I'm wondering if I demold it and let it sit, if it's a, it might be a little better. I just don't want to rip. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's going to be pretty. That's the base of the light. All these little ridges in this one. It's coming. I can see it. Oh, 
Holy Toledo. What? It's in there. There we go. We have separation. <laughs> Woo! Do you see all those little wee ridges? That's what was stuck in there. Like that. Oh my goodness, that's going to be so pretty. That's going to be pretty. All right, let's get this back the right way, if I can. Probably easier to go this way. There we go. Now this guy. I'm afraid. this ridge oh it's a little easier than I thought almost guys uh. get oh that does look pretty some alcohol in here some trying to get something in there there <laughs> there we go oh my goodness oh my cat's down here just a minute here stop it my cat's chewing on my little lights that I have a little fart there we go okay so these are the pieces so this goes, now this end here seems a little bendy to me. So what I'm going to probably do is leave it. So this goes in here and then this goes like that. There. Oh, that's adorable but it's moving. So I'm going to take that out because that is bending and I'm going to let it cure upright for the rest of the day. See, it's bending. I'm going to get it straight. There. And this is a little bendy too, but I want to take it out of the mold and that way it's demolded. And I'm going to let that do that for the rest of the day. But I'm going to pull this out and see what this is going to look like. Because I think this will be cute. I'm going to glue it in just along that edge. So we'll have a little edge of that with the danglies. I think that'll be cute. Okay, so I'm going to let this finish curing, especially this part, because I can't put it together. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Okay, we are back. So I figured while this is 
curing still. It's like I said, it's still a little bendy. So I am letting it sit on the side here. It's finishing the cure. And we're going to add the bling to this one because this guy, this guy's good. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's thinner. I have no idea, but it's going to take a little bit longer. So with this beautiful piece of crystal embellishment fringe, I think it's called. I'm going to basically, we're going to lay it like this. And I'm just going to hold it here and roll it. Let me see. Let's do it this way. I think it'll be easier this way. And then bring it up here. And then I'm going to give myself a little extra. I'm going to cut it here with my nippers. There's a little wire piece and that's that. So this will go over here for another time. Let me just measure this out, guys, so I can give you a proper measurement of what I did. Um, just getting my measuring tape out. Thank you, Dad. It is roughly... A little more than 11 inches I um, cut. So now my brain, guys, sometimes it works good, sometimes it don't. I'm going to use UV resin. I'm going to attempt to do it here live because I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> and with that, I've moved all my stuff on my table. Let me just... And let me grab. That is so funny. My UV resin was right in front of me. Here, let me, I'll be one sec, guys. I put it away. That's why I couldn't find it. So I'm using the um, Let's Resin UV resin. I'm using the Let's Resin UV lamp. And I am just going to, I'm going to show you. There's little ridges. I'm going to just draw a line. On here with the UV resin and I'm gonna go a little bit at a time I'm gonna say an inch at a time and then I'm gonna take my Trim, and I'm going to try to keep it level with the edge of my shade. And oh my goodness, I don't know if I can get it in there without... It ain't going to work. All right. I'm going to bring this this way. This is where you need one of those... I don't have a torch... I'm just going to put it on and I'm going to try to hold it. I would do the E6000, <clears throat> but again, because it being circular, I can't do the whole... I would have a hard time. Oh, my finger's on there. Oh, there we go. It's starting to cure. I think it's going to be so pretty. And I want to make sure that I want to keep that level. I'm excited. It's actually working. That's very scary. I'm not going to show you the whole thing because I think it would, well, maybe I should just so that 
you get an idea of how it's cured. And that's how it's going to look. Isn't that awesome? Now, that's cool. Okay. Now I'm, I would have to be mindful of when this hangs down. That would be the only thing as well. So I'm going to add a little bit more here, starting there. And I might do a little bit less. There we go. Put this on. And again, you want to keep it flush with the edge of the the lamp. I don't remember if I'm saying it right or not, but and then we're going to go underneath and I'm going to hold it. I need a third hand. Who wants to come help me, guys? <laughs> this is going to be so pretty with that crystal on there. I think it's going to make that little extra umph umph. Put my little sherry touch. So, that's pretty cool. I think that's about how it's going to work. Now, I just ordered myself a handheld lamp to do kind of this idea because it would be easier if I had a handheld UV lamp or flashlight, torch, however you want to call it. <clears throat> There we go. Part two. All right, so I'm going to carry on. Oh my goodness, that's going to be so adorable. Okay, so I'm going to carry on. I'm not going to torture you guys. And I will see you when I've got it to the last stage, just to make sure I have enough to go all the way around. So I'll see you guys. Actually, I'll show it to you, but I'm going to fast forward it. Okay, so I'm at that last little strip. Now I can see that I'm going to need to cut. I don't know if you can see. It, I, I put a little extra, so I'm going to have to probably cut at this junction right here. But let me double check just to make sure. We lay it down, lay it down, and yes. So after this dangly, we're gonna cut. And that'll work because there's this empty space. There's that two little pieces there. So, just my nippers. Snip, snip, easy peasy. And we got one little piece there for another we can add that on to something else. So I'm just going to do a thin line of the UV resin. And we're going to do it like that. Do, 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 do. This might be a little one. This one that might be a little more difficult than the others. Because it's going to have to be I'm going to have to pull it and put it under and hold it. Hopefully I don't mess it up. Keep the tension on it. I got my fingernail I got my fingernail in this section. Sorry guys, I I get it. I'm not the best at filming. I have a hard time. I'm not used to being up so close to try to get you what I'm see, what I'm doing. So, 
I apologize if my cameras aren't the best. So right now I got my finger in between where the beads are, my fingernail, and I'm pulling just to keep it taut because you want it to be nice and flush when it gets to that joint part. And almost done. Doo -doo 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 -doo, I'm excited. All right, now what I might do, there's a one little gap. So what I might do is take just the two pieces of the little ones and snip the two off and place them in individually. Do you see there's a gap right there? And it's not the most even. I'm just looking because it was hard to hold it as you've seen, but I still think it's gonna be adorable. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of UV and I'm gonna grab a pair of tweezers and see if this'll work. Right there. And I'm thinking I'm gonna put the UV on the actual crystal itself. way so I'm gonna put that there just a dab if a dab will go oh there we go stop it keeps wanting to fall over on me and I'm gonna put it oh you know it ain't gonna fit it ain't gonna fit well you know what it is what it is and it's there <laughs> I think it looks adorable let me bring you out not in, out. I think it looks cute. So our, it's gonna go like that and it's gonna go like this. Here, I'll bring you this way so you can see it better. Is that not adorable? And yes, I have my Yeti outfit on. <laughs> I think it's gonna be cute. Okay, so we'll come back. I will show you how to put the, um, the light on here actually we could probably do that right now and it will I moved everything so I wasn't uh, in the way anyways I will find it and we will stick it on I'll be right back guys <laughs> Okay, I found my little light pod. This one is the cool, not the bright white. So all you do is take this 3M sticker off. It's a sticker. And you apply it evenly on this part. So I'm gonna do it this way. They suggest that you do it well it is in the mold and then that way you're straight on you're not there so i'm just pushing down on it there we go i wish this would hurry up and cure so there we have our light and then let's put this on here and see what it does Is that not adorable? That is adorable. Let's see. I can't wait for it to be on the pedestal, but I think it's adorable. And it comes off. So you know you could make these, guys. You could keep the same lampshade. You could make a new base. You could do this clear and then have this Oops, this part a color 
you could do something with the base. I have an idea what I'm going to do with the base. So I'm going to make another one of these, but I'm going to have it so that this is going to be the same and the base is going to be different because I have an idea for something that's going to be awesome with the base. So with that, I will see you guys hopefully very soon. Please cure. I'll see you soon, guys. <laughs> Bye. Okay, I am so excited. This is hard. So, as in the previous clip, we attached our light. So, I'm going to turn it on. It goes bling, bling, bling. It goes like a slow strobe. Oh, my goodness. And then it's solid. So, this piece goes inside of this piece like this. You can glue it so that it, you could put some UV resin in there. You could put some E6000 in there, glue it together. But I'm not going to glue mine together because um, I'm going to do another base because I have an idea for the base that I would love to try. I'm not going to make a whole new this and a whole new shade. But I'm going to make a new base because I have an idea and I'm not going to tell you the idea because it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be exciting. So we're going to put our blinged up sh shade on there. I am just, I am so freaking excited. I'm going to put it on. Now there's little grooves. You want to push it in and take a peek and make sure it's level. Okay. I know you can't see it from that direction, so I'm going to change my camera angle. I'm going to bring you down, and we're going to get a close-up of this beautiful thing. I am so excited. When a plan comes together, it is hilarious. Sorry, I was looking. It looked like these little crystals were backwards, but there's no other way I could have put that on there. So, anyways, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, my beautiful people. Oh my goodness. I turned my studio lights off. I don't know if this is coming through or not, but OMG. This is just so cute. I love the addition of those crystals on there. And again, I'm going to redo that base. I'm going to do something different with the base. And I'm so excited. So with that, my beautiful people, I'll link this amazing mold in the description box. Everything I use today, but go check it out because it is adorable. My pictures are probably aren't going to do anything justice to it because it's just, I can't, yeah, I'm amazed that I made a light. Look at that. So with that, my beautiful people, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, which a lot of you people watching aren't, it's free. It would help me out tremendously to get to my next YouTube goal of 100K. Please, please think about subscribing and give my videos a share if you enjoy what you see. And of course, a big thumbs up and hit that bell up there for notifications when I put up my next video. And as always, I love my sponsors. So they're all going to get a little bit of a plug here today. Um, so go check out all my description box. I have the links to everything I'm going to mention here. So I have the links to where to purchase Triart Liquid Glass. I have the links to where to purchase Fundy Molds and Shapes Molds. I have the links to where to purchase Julie Cuts Molds. I have the links to where to purchase um, Let's Resin with my discount code of Sherry M. 10 capital S capital M and I also have the links to sorry crystal resin which is what we used here today we use the deep casting resin um, go check out the website they have much more stuff as well um, my discount code for crystal resin is sherry molten 5 capital S capital M and I also have my two amazing Lores distributors I have Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada Go check out her website. Um, she has much, much more than La Res as well. So my discount code for Michelle is Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M. And the original, the first 
my amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, my glitter guru, my American Lorez distributor. Go check out her website. Um, she's got, again, so much more than just the glitters that I use. Um, my discount code for Laura is all capital letters, Sherry Moulton, 10%. And with that, my PayPal is in there if you choose to donate and help support my channel. And here we go, my friends. Love you all so, so much. I hope you have an amazing day. And I hope I put a little light in your life. <laughs> Love you guys. See you in the next one.